contraceptive, how does it work, how to use it, and the side effect. We're going to look at everything in this video. Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. I make content about medical fashion and lifestyle and today is about medical. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you always get notified anytime I post a new video here. Contraceptive. There are two types of contraceptive pills. The regular one and the emergency contraceptive pill. The emergency contraceptive pill is the posterior two that you usually take. Why the regular contraceptive pills has two types. The first one is mini pill. It contains progestin only and also there is combined pills. Combined pills consist of estrogen and progesterone and it is the most common. This pill is 99% effective if used correctly. How does it work? Combined contraceptive pills works by preventing ovulation. Ovulation is a release of mature egg from the ovaries into the fallopian tube for fertilization. But this contraceptive works by preventing ovulation. And when there is no ovulation, that is, when there is no release of an egg from the ovaries, means there is no ovulation and there will not be pregnancy. It also works by thickening the cervical mucus. Cervical mucus is the fluid produced by the neck of the womb service or the neck of the uterus. Womb is also uterus. So this is the fluid produced around that side. It works by thickening this fluid and prevent the penetration of sperm from reaching an egg. If this part is very thick this mucus around the neck of the womb is very thick it's supposed to be slippery so that the egg can easily swim inside and reach the fallopian tube and get the egg fertilized there but when this is very thick it's going to prevent the penetration of the sperm into the womb and if sperm is not getting into the womb there will not be pregnancy because there won't be fertilization the third one is, it makes the endometrial lining thin. Endometrial lining is the inner lining of the womb or uterus. When this is very thin, it's going to prevent implantation. People who smoke cannot take contraceptive pill and also people more than 35 years cannot take contraceptive pill. Now you understood how contraceptive pills works. Now, how to use it. One pill has to be taken every day, preferably at the same time. You can start taking contraceptive pill at any time, but preferably on the first day of your menstruation because it's going to prevent you from pregnancy right away. The contraceptive pills has 21 days pills, 28 days pills, and 3 months pills. That is, you can take, if you get the one of 28 days, you're going to take this every day for 28 days, and after the 28 days, you start taking another one. If you take the one of 21 days, you're going to take this for 21 days, you rest for 7 days, and you start taking another one on the eighth day. If you take for three months, you're going to take this every day, one pill every day for three months, and you start taking another one right after. Now, if you take the one of 21 days, you're going to take this one pill every day for 21 days, and the last seven days, or let's say the fourth week, you're going to rest you will not take anything and this period this time you're going to get bleeding that is your period 
You're going to get your period in this seven days. And on the eighth day, you need to start taking another one. In this seven days when you're not taking the contraceptive, which is your resting time, which this time you can as well bleed, bleeding or no bleeding, you need to start taking another one on the eighth day. And in these seven days, if you have unprotected sexual intercourse, you are not going to get pregnant. You are totally safe in these seven days. Remember, you are, old, you are safe in the, in the whole 24 20, days that you have been taking this from the beginning as well. But the fear of not taking this in these seven days, is you going to get pregnant? No, you're not going to get pregnant if you don't take it in these last seven days before you start taking another one on the eighth day. But if you take, if you buy the one of 28 days, it's the same thing. You're going to take one every day for 28 days. But the 21 days is active pills. Why the last seven pills is inactive pills? That is, if you take this last seven in these 28 days pills, you're fine. And if you don't take it, you're still fine. This last seven pills, it is called hormone-free reminder pills. That is, it is to keep you on track. After completing the 21 days, the last seven days tablet you're taking is to remind you to keep you on track to take the next one, to get the next packet before the eighth day. Because after the seven days as well, the seven days in active pill, you need to start taking another one. So this is more like a reminder pill for you. You know when you're taking the 21 days um, tablet, um, 10, 20, if you're taking 21 days packet, after the 21 days, you're going to rest for seven days, not taking any pills. But you can easily forget, you can, you can easily forget the days and you may not remember to take the next one on the eighth day, on the ninth day, on the tenth day, like you can totally forget. But these 28 days will help you to remember because by the end of this, this time, if you're taking these last seven pills after the 21, the last seven days in the 28 days pill, you know, when it's almost finished, when it's almost finished, you will remember to get another one. So this time, this pills this last seven pills is just to keep you on track like i said to remind you that before the end of this tablet you need to get another one now i'm going to show you how you're going to use this i have a contraceptive pills here and it's the one of 28 days as you can see there is something interesting here that i want to show you and to show you how to use it look at this um, the pills you can see it has this small tablet this small tablet this is the 21 days on it has this small tablet this is the 21 days on pill look at this very well it's in two colors the one up is in white means this is the seven days inactive pills this is only supplement there is no hormone inside this. Like I said, it is called reminder pill. This is the last seven days. But see the remaining here that looks brownish. This is the 28 days. These are the hormonal pill. And this is the one you're taking straight for 21 days every month. This, you can do without it. You can take it and you may not take it. Like I said earlier, it's not going to cost you anything. You're not going to get pregnant if you don't take it. But this is just to remind you before the end of this, you need to get another one. Now, look at this. At the back of your contraceptive, you are going to get this arrow. Sometimes, some medications, they wrote Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on it. And that means you're going to start from wherever the arrow starts. The arrow begins. There is arrow. Look at it. There is arrow that goes from here. It comes here. There is arrow that comes from here to here to here. Then the last day. Now you're going to start here at its indicator. You start your medication here 
this one this active pay is in yellow painted now you can see the difference this is yellow and the last seven days is white now you're going to start here you continue to take from where this arrow begins every day one pill every day like i said preferably same time you take this every day like this like this till the last seven days as you can see too there is difference now i hope you get it you always start from where the arrow begins so you follow the arrow follow the arrow follow the arrow to the next day after this taking this you start with the next pill the same thing if it is 27 days if it is 27 days you're still going to start from wherever the arrow begins you take it straight straight like that for 27 days and after 27 days you're going to rest means there will not be this in the 27 days pill so you're going to rest you will not take anything if it is 27 days if it is 21 days sorry but this is 28 days let's count and see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 26, 28 days. I hope you understood how to take contraceptive pills clearly now. Now, what are the side effects? Contraceptive pills has a minor side effect and in few days or months, it goes away like moon swings, breast tenderness, um, headache, nausea or even vomiting like i said in few days or months it's going to go away who can take contraceptive pill if you're breastfeeding you're not advised to take contraceptive pill until after six weeks of delivery so you can start taking this pill after six weeks of giving birth don't start right away after delivery if you have issue with your heart, if you have heart problem, kidney problem or kidney disease, if you have breast cancer, ovarian cancer or any form of um, reproductive cancer, you can take contraceptive pill. Also, if you have premenstrual syndrome, PMS, heavy bleeding or heavy menstruation, this combined contraceptive pills is helpful it might be helpful for you i suggest you go with a combined contraceptive pill if you have painful menstruation heavy menstrual bleeding and as well brain menstrual syndrome once again preferably go for combined contraceptive pill contraceptive pill this combined form can be taken for a very long time remember it is not an emergency contraceptive pill and it does not affect your fertility. If you miss one pill, it is okay. As soon as you remember, take it. But if you continue to miss two or more pills, it can put you at risk of getting pregnant. I hope you find this video very helpful. If you do, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification as well. Drop your comment below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.